what I really find unique about St. Paul's instrument is the time period in which it's built and the unique tone colors that you find on the instrument. If you think about the transition from the Romantic instruments in the early part of the 20th century to the more neo-baroque instruments in the 60s or 70s, you see that those tastes pivoting in St. Paul's organ. I've been the music director at St. Paul's for five years now, and even after five years of playing this instrument on almost a daily basis, I still find combinations that are new and interesting to me, and I still find different ways of doing things on the instrument, and, and the instrument continues to inspire me. The thing that makes this organ special is the fact that it was built by Aeolian Skinner. Most important is the fact that the tonal director of Aeolian Skinner at the time that this organ was built was G. Donald Harrison. In fact, he died uh, while this project was just being tonally finished in 1957. So this organ and uh, St. Thomas in New York City were, the, the, we were really the last organs that he worked on. And what I was saying is that the, the pipes, you can go to any number of pipe shops and you can duplicate the pipes, but the actual voicing of the pipes, the, the thing that makes them sound like they do, uh, was done by people that are no longer with us. It is an Aeolian Skinner from G. Donald Harrison, and it's, you know, for the most part, completely irreplaceable. One of the best parts of my being here at St. Paul's as organ scholar has definitely been the organ we have, which is, I think, one of the best in the region. Um, it's a typical American classic style instrument, and we were able to imitate a lot of different styles, including the French classic style with our antique reeds in the enclosed grate. We have beautiful strings all over the room and the ceiling and in the back of the small division, and we have stops that can do Bach very well. We have um, some very fun Vox Humanas and different divisions. And the organ really serves as a teacher because when you're bringing different repertoire to it, you're challenged to make it sound as authentic as possible, but also show off the colors of the instrument. All right, so what instruments do you guys hear when you hear the organ playing? Uh, I hear a lot of trumpets on Easter. Cool, on Easter, like, like these guys. This one's a lot louder. Like. Where are you hearing it from? Back there. Up in the there. ceiling. Oops. Listen carefully. It's actually coming from over there. There's pipes in the ceiling. Did you guys know that? It's all the way up where those angels are. I think the future of the pipe organ is very, very healthy. In America, we have so many great builders, and now some of our American pipe organs are going to Europe, which I think is marvelous. So it's a very exciting time, and I think quality churches are always going to have a quality pipe organ.